one. I'm going to make another LED flasher from this clock here and I'm going to take the circuit out of there. Um, I made one before uh, but it, I realized it works on 3 volts and I don't really want to make this so it works on 3 volts. I want to try and create something to make it work on 1.5 volts. Now whether I can do that or not at this moment I do not know but I'm certainly going to try it. I have seen lots of videos that they do work them on 3 volts. So let's have a go and let's hope it works. So I'm going to I'm going to put the positive and negative leads on there and take these two off and put wires for the LED there. So here we are guys, what I did, I took it all off, I put the two wires where the coil was going to and I put the uh, wire back here for to use this uh, battery holder there. So this is 1.5 volts and just to show you that the LED is working, I don't know if you can see it there. Uh, I should have flashed in there. But it's flashing very, very low. It's flashing, okay? So we're going to use this LED to just test it out a bit. Here we go. So as you can see, that it doesn't work. Uh, on 1.5 volts, nothing is working. Nothing is working there, and vice versa. Nothing is working. So I gotta somehow fix it so it works on 1.5 volts. So this was by. Um, Jewel Thief, which I made years ago, and it's working on 1.5 volts. I, I just took this off, um, this is ripped off here, but there you go. Once that's connected, Jewel Thief is working fine, as you can see. Okay, so I'm gonna try to take the wires off the LEDs and put them to this unit here and see if the LED will light up. Well, well guys, I've sorted it out. Um, let's just have a look. I'm going to use this white LED. It can be seen better, I think. There you go. Can you see that flashing? I shall uh, zoom in. There you go guys. So yes, flasher unit and my, um, um, what do you call it, jewel thief which I made some years back and it works. Now this red one does work, because I've seen it working already. Like I said, the red one does work. Flashing. Okay, how did I do it? Well. I use my Jewel Thief, I've got 1.5 volt supply here going into the clock circuit which is coming out there, I supply that power into the Jewel Thief power, uh, power supply here and whatever comes out I put the LED in there and it works on 1.5 volts because these things do not work on 1.5 volts. I'll show it to you, 
just there, just connecting that to that, that to that, does not work. See, or the other way, which way, it does not work. But once you connect it through the jewel thief, it works. So this experiment is a success. I'm going to put it together and we'll have a conclusion. Well guys, I've, um, because I've done this experiment here and everything's out, I thought I'd just try this one more thing because to keep this going it seems to be a bit difficult. So what I'll do is I'll try and do another experiment where I can use the solar, solar power and maybe this will boost it up to keep it going because I found that when the light is low it stops so I'm hoping that it will work with the solar power through the day with low lighting as it were. So this is the final product here, okay, so there's the LED flasher and it works, um, works on 1.5 volt instead of 3 volts. Uh, obviously we took the circuit out of the clock, we're using the clock circuit and we're using a dual thief circuit uh, so that we can actually make it flash normal. I'm so proud of this project. But well, there you go, so I'm, I'm pleased with this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a new battery in there and find out how long it flashes for because many people claim they got an LED flash out that flashes for uh, one year. So I will see how long this flashes. It's flashing pretty fast so I don't I don't expect it to, to flash for a year because it's using a lot of voltage there. The LEDs that flash here and there probably would flash longer. Anyway, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this project. Please subscribe and thumbs up, leave a comment. I changed it to yellow guys.